Welcome everybody, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Today we are checking out iOS 14 and iPadOS 14, specifically the new home screens, widgets, today view, and the app library. We are going to deep dive into all of these. And starting out, here is our iPhone 11 Pro Max with iOS 14. And you can already see widgets right there on my home screen. But we're gonna look at not only those widgets, but that today view and how that has changed, how to work with third party developers, the different sizes of widgets, how you can move everything around, get to that app library, what the app library does, and just kind of all of those things together. So it is a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's go ahead and just dive right into all of this. Now we're gonna start off just by looking at the, what used to be called the today view, widget view, whatever you wanna go with. But it's that one to the left of your first home screen. You can see all the stuff in here from third party developers like my kind of slightly elevated blood sugar right now, as well as all these new widgets here at the top. So this is still like it was before. These can all be rearranged and all the Apple's widgets though have this really new look to them. They come in different sizes and you can go in and edit these. You can change what they're displaying. You have a lot of different options across all of Apple's widgets here inside of Today View. It's really been kind of tweaked though because all of Apple's now at the top and all these are down below, but you can still mix them all and developers are really gonna have to play with their apps to get new versions of all of these out there so they will look more natural with all the new designs. These can be edited very similarly to apps on your home screen holding down and going to that contextual menu to edit that widget view or the home screen in this case too. You can add new ones by that plus button in that top left hand corner and tap done when you're all finished. But now these can all move out of your today view and actually go anywhere on your screens. So we can drag this out, we can rearrange it here inside of today view or we can move it into my home screen. You can see it has that little effect that it kind of bubbles out as it goes. We can remove that one for now and let's look at the other ones that we have already set up. Obviously, you can see the different sizes. We have these small ones that are squares, larger that are rectangles, and even larger ones that take up pretty much half of the screen. Now, how do you edit widgets or add new widgets? Well, let's go ahead and just remove this one from my home screen. We're gonna get rid of this stack. And of course, another one falls right in, but for right now, we're gonna tap on that plus button in that upper left-hand corner. Here you can see recommendations. So we have music, notes, stocks, maps, all these different ones we may wanna choose. Then we have the different sizes or configurations of that widget from small, medium to large. We just choose the size we want and then hit that add button. Here we are with the smart stack, which is one of my favorites. Again, there are two sizes in this case, that's small and medium. When we have it in place, we can go ahead and move it around our home screen. Smart stack is different than the other widgets. It actually is a bunch of different widgets all in one. Things like music, series suggestions, maybe stocks, photos, maps, calendars, all these different things built into just one widget. It's even able to dynamically change throughout the day based on what it thinks I wanna do. So I always listen to music on my ride home, maybe pop that up at the same time. Now say you like the idea of the smart stack, but you don't always use music or you don't use photos. Well, you can edit the smart stack. So I can go in, I can turn off series suggestions, I can turn off the calendar, whatever it is I don't want. I can change the order of them or I can just completely remove those options. Once I made those changes, I can also turn on or off Smart Rotate, which again, changes it throughout the day. And then I'm good. Now I have my stack, my widget, right here on my home screen. And there is that smaller version of the Smart Stack as well. Now, how about finding apps? Well, this has been improved too with iOS 14. Pulling down from the top, I can start typing, say T, W, it already knows I wanna do Twitter, it highlights it, and I can just tap go to jump right into that application or the website or whatever it is. It is very, very quick. Now, a lot of us just use that kind of muscle memory using Spotlight Search there, or if you wanna go through your actual pages. But now there's a lot easier ways. So we can easily slide through all of our different pages here. And I have a lot of pages of apps. But on that last one, when I swipe to the right, we have the new app library. The app library is huge. This is a huge radical change, and it's so much easier to navigate, sort, and find your apps. Obviously, you can see these are broken down into different categories, like productivity, social creativity, or on top, we have suggestions and recently added. And it has the ones that I use most often on top, like my blood sugar or Starbucks, or the new Insta360 camera option that I just added under recently. Utilities, I can see home and wallet, Lifestyle, you can see eBay and Amazon and my Arlo cameras. You can tap into any of those apps right away to launch them, or you can tap on those little kind of quartets when you see the stacked icons together. If you tap on those, it'll jump you into that whole category. So here are all the different productivity apps that I have. Same thing for social, 
or creativity reference, any of the ones that I've got. You can also pull down from the top and get an alphabetized list of all of your apps. So you can search, you can go through alphabetically, you can sort by categories, you can get your own suggestions and recently added ones, bring down by Apple Arcade, whatever it is, you have a ton of options at your fingertips to find those apps. But in my case, you never want to swipe through like 30 pages to get to it. Fortunately, if you tap on those little dots while in jiggle mode, you can see we actually can get in here and view all my home screens. And here, I can turn them off. I can actually hide all of those additional home screens from view. When I exit back out, I've only got a couple pages. My first few pages that I have muscle memory, I know where those apps are, I use them all the time. I can view them here, I can view them here, and when I'm done, jump over to App Library where I can access everything else that I need. If I'm not just going up here and using search to begin with. Now, a lot of this here does work perfectly on the iPhone, but it works a little bit differently if we go over to our iPad. Here's our iPad Pro, the latest one, running iOS 14, or in this case, iPadOS 14. The initial iPadOS 13 brought us this widget view on our home screen, right? We're all familiar with that, and that really has not changed. Unfortunately, the widgets on iPad Pro are limited. They can only be added to that widget view on the home screen. They cannot be interspersed with all your app icons like they can on the iPhone. Now, honestly, Hopefully this is something that changes before the release of iPad OS 14 and iOS 14, because it seems like just a huge limitation on the iPad. Obviously things are a little bit buggy at the moment, as you see our smart stack is malfunctioning a bit and other widgets are disappearing, but for the most part it works well, it's just very limiting. We also don't have the app library either. If we move all the way to that far right hand side, we don't have an option like we do. We just have the option to use that integrated search just like we normally would. It just feels a little bit limited compared to what we can do with the iPhone. I get that the screen is bigger, you can view more apps, but it still seems like it should be more on par with what the iPhone has to offer. Either way, we love the new home screen, widget view, stay view searches, everything that Apple has brought to the home screen with iOS 14 and iPad OS 14. We cannot wait for developers to start releasing new widget versions of their apps that we can take advantage of. Let me know what you think over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and check us out for the next iOS 14 video. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see and follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.